Hey, welcome to the Toadstead. Well, what we're going to do today is install the temporary solar panels. Now, these aren't 100% uh, necessary uh, for things to run because I have electricity. But the whole point of doing a homestead is to try and do it a on the cheap and B to be as self-sufficient as is necessary as is possible and uh, I've got a couple of solar panels that actually came off my sailboat and I'm gonna use those to charge the house battery for the Airstream now there are more panels. I have about a thousand watts, I guess, that are stored away in the shed that will be used on the toadstead when I get the cabin built. But the Airstream, besides being a temporary construction trailer, place for me to hang out while building is going on it's also the test bed for a lot well hopefully a lot of experiments with solar power and with low voltage appliances lighting and all that and the more I can learn using the Airstream, which of course is already wired for 12 volt, as all RVs are, it'll give me some ideas and hopefully I can make, if I'm going to make too many mistakes, I'll make them here in the Airstream on a small scale instead of making them, you know, when we actually build the cabin. <coughs> and yeah, I'm using a set of post hole diggers. I actually do have a power auger, but a friend of mine who's putting in a whole bunch of fence has borrowed it. Of course, by the time this comes out, I'll have it back. But it's a nice, well, it's probably in the low 50s today. And it's not a bad day for a little manual labor. All right, let me get some other stuff set up and we'll come back to it. Now, this is just put in with tamped earth because this whole this whole thing is temporary I'm not putting in this little post with concrete and you can use you can do this with a lot of different stuff uh, including smaller fences and whatnot you know do I recommend putting in posts with no concrete well there's a couple of schools of thought about that some people will tell you the concrete's best and some people will tell you well you know concrete lets moisture and holds moisture at the same time in other words if you're set in a wet spot the, con the concrete will not keep the water away from your post in fact it'll let water to your post because in case you didn't know concrete is not waterproof and theoretically the water will just stay there longer and could rot your post you know I don't know I kind of you for me it depends on what it is that I'm putting in as you're gonna see here in a few minutes the apparatus we're gonna to attach to this while not small 
is also not not super heavy so I'm pretty I feel pretty confident that putting our little scrap piece of landscape timber in with tamped earth is going to be just fine and yeah this is a piece of scrap to be honest with you I don't remember where I got it I do keep my eyes open when I'm driving around neighborhoods and whatnot and if I see a construction site uh, I ain't shy <coughs> I have been known to drive right up especially if the, if the guys are actually out there working and just say hey you know mind if I pick through your scrap pile and more often than not they're cool with it and you can get you know some interesting stuff this these landscape timbers are an example of that I have got about 10 of them that are four five feet long three feet long in that area not really good for anybody else I guess certainly not good to somebody doing a brand new project but for me worked out just fine and uh, as you can see that booger is in there tight well let me go get the important piece and we'll show that to you okay and here we go now let me just make sure that that little guy is in frame oh yeah it's pretty good anybody who put up a satellite dish especially back in the 80s will recognize this little feller this is the mount I, sh I suppose there's some fancy name for it somebody can tell us in the comment section but it's just a mount and what I'm going to be able to do because it has this series of bolts here I'm going to be able to put it along the latitude I guess that would be the, the longitude of exactly where I want it and then because it has adjustments here and here I'll be able to, to adjust the latitude now where I am I want to be pretty close to 45 degrees it's right in that ballpark and I want to be facing slightly southeast so let me get that set up and we'll move on from there okay as you can see just a simple frame that I made out of some old landscape not landscape timbers but uh, deck boards strong enough to do the job but definitely uh, not wasting a whole bunch of money this is just a test to see how this all works out and uh, let's go ahead and get the panels mounted Now somebody's probably going to ask me uh, about these panels themselves. Well, to be honest with you, I don't really remember. Uh, they have been on my sailboat now for, well, they were on my sailboat for many, many, many years. Many, many, I don't know, seven, eight years. And these did provide all the power that I needed. And there's actually three of them. I've got these two, and then I had one as a backup that I never needed. So there's another, there's a, well, a third one floating around. Now eventually they'll all get used, and these are not part of the uh, 1000K of panels that I have. So there we go. And, you know, have to be as, have to work, but. Uh, We'll get them all wired up and put them on the battery and see how it looks. Alrighty. Well, that's got it. Uh, what I used, in case you're curious, to uh, hook it up was this cable. I don't know if you can see it here. <clears throat> this is cable that's used for uh, the outdoor lighting, low voltage outdoor lighting. <coughs> I just bought a big old roll of it. And well, big old roll, about 50 feet of it, and I'm only going about 12 feet, so 
I'm not going to cut it. Like I say, this is just a, uh, this is an experiment, but I'm going to go ahead. You can see I'm burying it down there. And uh, one of the sad parts about the uh, Airstream is it only has that one battery as far as a built-in spot. And it's kind of difficult to do much more, but, eh, you know, it's a marine, ba a marine battery. It should do pretty well. At least I hope but again this is a test bed so we'll come back and check it out after a while I'll let you know how it goes all right y'all thanks for coming along for a ride see you next time around